What's up, Ian here, and this is my quick unboxing graph measurements and comparison with the original 7Hz cell notes zero. Now, you'll be, be asking, hey, I thought you unboxed already and reviewed the 7Hz cell notes zero. Yes, I did, which is right here. But this one is the Mecca edition, which is the special color one. Okay, and it's uh, available on Mecca. All right, so those of you interested, please check out the link in the description below. And I'll also uh, do a graph comparison. So I will measure this after I have unboxed it and I'll compare it with the original zero. Now I will not be listening to this again. So for those of you who wants to watch my review of the original zero, please check out the link up above. All right, so let's begin with the unboxing very quick one okay so box slides out like this and let's see the specs on the outside mm, nope no specs it's fine and then very similar to the original you have this plastic cover and the IEM sits right here Ooh. okay so you have paperwork Right, so product information is right here. The impedance is 32 ohms. The sensitivity is 108. And the frequency response is 10 to 20,000 Hertz. And you've got paperwork right here. Now let's take a look at the ear tips. Okay, so you have six pairs of ear tips, right? So all different color coded and they are different size in terms of ball as well. So if you look at the this ball here, it's a wider ball. Okay, this one is more for treble. And then the narrower ball is for bass. Okay, so it depends on your listening preference. If you want more bass, use the, the narrower ball. And if you want more treble, use the wider ball. Okay, so that's for the ear tips. Now let's take a look at the cable. Okay. Mm. Oh, actually it's quite textured. Okay, and it's got a Velcro strap here to hold up the cable together. And the cable is not braided, right? It's those modern type of cable. Uh, it's got a terminates with a 3.5 headphone jack with cell notes branding on it. The Y splitter is made of metal, metal sleeve, and the chin slider is made of plastic. And then you have your ear hooks. Ear hooks is they got a shielding here. And of course, uh, terminates with a two pin connector. Okay, so that's for the cable. Now let's take a look at the IEM themselves and look at that nice red color. Very, very nice red color. Well, and it's got the Mecca logo here in front. Okay, cell notes zero. Very nice. On the inside, let's take a look okay so at the front right it's also metal right it's got um hairline um stainless steel type of uh, look to it is only thing that is black okay so you have the black and red combination and this is the filter very nice okay so i have the original zero right here and this is the white color one so let's uh, compare it and as you can see they look identical it's just that the color scheme is different all right so very very nice color I actually I like the red the black and the red uh, combination the white and the silver is okay la. I wish that you know maybe white and black but yeah so very nice the red the red is actually a very nice red Okay, and uh, it's actually giving it like a very colorful and very youthful kind of uh, look. Okay, so now let's uh, measure this. All right, let's put all this one side and then just put the measuring rig right here and my cable. Okay, so as you can see, I've set up my rig, all right, my measuring rig, and I have uh, prepped the earphones. So I have the foam tips here and then my Ying Wu cable and my measuring rig right here 
and I've already calibrated everything just to save time and save you know you guys watching that process so let's put the left side into the coupler and let's begin the measurement right so let's go to the computer and I've already done all the calibration so all I need to do now is to show you guys the measurement let's check the levels first Okay, 87 dB, that's good. Let's begin. Okay, one thing I need to do is to change the name. This is the 7 Hertz 0. Okay, and this is the left side. It's okay i don't need to change that okay so this curve here looks very familiar now let's measure the right side let's take out the left from the coupler and put in the right side okay let's go back to the computer check the levels 87 db okay let's begin the measurement Wow, look at the left and the right channel matching. It's almost, it's so, it's almost perfect. Okay, so that shows the QC check of this uh, earphone is so good. Okay, so now let's take out the uh, Mecca version, right? So I'm going to change out to the original zeros and then I'll measure the original zeros right now so that you guys can see the difference if there's any okay so as you can see i have the original zeros all prepped up so let's put the left side in the coupler okay now let's go to the computer and let's change this name right this is the seven hertz zero OG. Okay, so let's check the levels first. 88 dB. All right, let's begin. Okay, looks like it matches. It's just that the volume is. Wait, let me just change this again. 7 Hz. Zero. Why don't they auto change? This is the right side, the left side. Yep, so it looks almost identical except for maybe around the 6,000 to 7,000 area here. Right, let's, let's uh, take out the left side and put in the right side. So this is the right side. Let's put it in. Okay. And let's go back to the computer and let's measure. Eighty-eight dB. That's fine. Okay. Wow. Look at. Okay. So let me just uh, hide the Mecca version and just see the original um, seven hertz zero. As you can see, there's a little bit of difference here. So I think that's fine. Okay, so let's just normalize all these four measurements and we will see that it all matches. So I'm going to normalize it to 1000 Hertz. Okay. All right. So that is the four different lines, which is the Mecca version or Mecca edition, left and right, and the original zero left and right. So four lines here, as you can see, they match pretty much almost identical so in terms of tuning right there is not much of a difference between the original and the mecca version all right except for maybe this part here the upper mids and the presence which is negligible because as you know uh, this 711 coupler this 
a bit of variance lah in terms of the measurements but it's all right uh, and even at the brilliance area and you can see the 8k just after the 8k maybe the 9k region there uh, the peak is almost identical okay so yeah so from this graph right guys you can see that uh, there is no difference in tuning uh, between the original uh, 7 hertz cell notes 0 and the mecha edition okay now um, the mecha edition is only available on the mecha store okay online store and uh, again if you guys are interested do check out the link down in the description below and if you guys are you know interested in the original version the link is also down in the description below okay and oh, if you guys are interested in my review of the original one i'm not going to review this because they sound the same so i'm not going to repeat myself so if you guys are interested in that review please check out the link up above all right so that concludes my unboxing and my measurements of this 7 hertz cell notes zero i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please give this video a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay so i hope you guys have a great day ahead and i'll see you again in my next video cheers